Good morning. I hope everybody's had a chance to get some sustenance. Uh, as is not unusual in Indian country, we've been running on Indian time this morning. So now that we have uh, our speakers here and uh, seem to be ready, my name is Bill Rice, for those who may not know me. I'm one of the professors here at the law school. And I would like to introduce our Vice Dean, Gary Allison, who will say a few words of welcome to you, and then we will start our program. Gary? It is my pleasure to welcome you here today on behalf of the University of Tulsa College of Law. This is a most important conference because it features a lineup of prestigious and knowledgeable presenters who will bring sharp, sharp focus today on the continuing challenges indigenous peoples face in preserving their cultures and striving to provide all their people with a bright, safe, and prosperous future. We thank you for your participation in this event, and we also thank Leslie Scruggs and Barbette Viet for their tireless logistical efforts in making this conference possible. It literally could not happen without their, their help. To me, it is very appropriate to have this conference at the University of Tulsa College of Law in the midst of a state with 39 distinct Native American cultures. For Native peoples, Oklahoma was first a tragic destination, and then it was ground zero for the application of cruel assimilationist policies aimed at cultural extermination. But now, Oklahoma bears witness to the resilience and determination of Native peoples to preserve their heritage and forge bright futures for their children. The, vibrancies of the, the vibrancy of these efforts have blessed Oklahoma with priceless cultural treasures and economic endeavors that have benefited all of Oklahoma's residents. It is also most appropriate that this conference is being sponsored by the University of Tulsa College of Law's Native American Law Center, NALC. NALC is at the beginning of its second decade on the forefront of educating young lawyers to become effective participants in tribal governments and able negotiators of transactions between tribes and others in commercial markets. This education is being delivered in Tulsa and Geneva by my brilliant colleagues, Judith Royster, Bill Rice, and Vicki Lemus, who are collectively and individually relentless defenders of tribal sovereignty and enterprising scholars whose writings continually provide rich legal resources for those who seek to understand the legal challenges and opportunities of indigenous peoples. My colleagues' scholarly efforts have been immensely aided by the treasure trove of historically significant materials that document the saga of Native Americans' struggles for cultural survival, within the University of Tulsa's McFarland Library and the College of Law's Maybe Information Legal Center. And we have today Faye Hadley, who provides enormous uh, research, talent, and knowledge in the use of these materials. The University of Tulsa's new relationship with Gilcrease Museum, uh, with Gilcrease Museum will soon bring to light a huge reservoir of historically significant documents and artifacts that describe the evolution of Western expansion in the United States. And we are at this moment constructing a, a new research center to be located on site at Gilcrease, uh, which will provide a great resource for people who wish to come in and look at these materials, many of which have not been seen by anybody for decades. I will now turn the program back to my colleague Bill Rice so that the work of this conference can commence. And I hope this day for you is enjoyable, enlightening, and inspiring. And I also hope that you will visit us soon and often, particularly to explore the rich research resources available here for those who are concerned about the welfare of indigenous peoples. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. It's 
good to see all of you here. It's good to see the tribal leaders here that have come to visit and be with us and uh, other folks that are interested in this arena. I want to say to you that uh, we have assembled what I believe to be an all-star cast of speakers, uh, people that I have enormous respect for, people that I have learned from myself personally. Um, I'm so glad to see them here and that they are able to come and contribute something to our conference. And I'm sure that uh, there's going to be a lot to learn during the day.